Hi everyone, as you can see, I'm here outside of City Hall in downtown Hamilton, and I'm here to encourage you to get out of your house. The first day of winter, December 21st, uh, it's the shortest day of the year. It's also the darkest day of the year. It's the day when it gets dark, the earliest in the afternoon. And, uh, and so it's, it's reminiscent of the season of Advent. The world seems to be getting darker and then something changes and light enters the world and the days begin to get brighter. And so it's a great time to pray. And I wanna encourage you to get out, to walk the city. We put together a prayer guide for you with things to look for in the downtown. So grab a friend or two, take a walk through the downtown and pray for the things that you see. Pray for the institutions like City Hall and, and other places around here. Pray for the people that you see. And uh, this is a great time to celebrate Advent, to celebrate the light of Jesus entering our world and to acknowledge that there is work still to be done here in Hamilton and we believe God has good things in store. And uh, so I want to encourage you to get out. Now you can do this virtually if you're unable to leave your home. You can still pray at home. We put together a, a Google Earth tour. But if you're able, I encourage you to get your mask and your scarf and your hat and your gloves and everything and to actually go out and walk the city. And it might be a little bit colder than you'd like, but I think that's part of the experience, feeling the coldness, uh, seeing how it's getting dark earlier and using those things to remind you that, uh, that the light of Jesus is also entering the world, that, that, that the world is becoming brighter because of Jesus. And so I hope, you, uh, I hope you do the prayer walk. If you do, send me a note about how it goes. Send me a note about uh, what you saw and learned. If you take pictures, that's a great thing to do as you're going along. And uh, send those to me. I'd love to see what you're up to. Uh, if you've never done a prayer walk before and you're uncertain how to do that, it's not too complicated. Uh, you just look at the things that you see and you hear and you pray about them. So I'm here in front of City Hall. I know the people who run this city have huge challenges ahead of them. And so I want to pray for them to have wisdom and, and the ability to make good decisions for the city. And so uh, I'll just do that right now. Lord, I pray for the people who run this city, for the mayor, for the city council, for the people who work in this building. Lord, that you would give them the ability to govern the city well, even in the midst of this challenging pandemic, even in the midst of a housing crisis. Lord, pray that you would make them able to be good leaders. And Lord, we, we pray for them to, to have courage, to have insight, Lord, to, to make good decisions. Amen. All right, it's that simple. I feel like you can probably do that. So let me know how it goes. Thanks. Bye.